Hello, I'm Deb Ashby and I'm a TAP certified MOSS accredited IT trainer. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to sort and filter data in a spreadsheet. Sorting data is an integral part of data analysis. As you add more content to a worksheet, organising this information becomes especially important. There are many built-in tools to help with organising data. Sorting and filtering are among the best. Sorting allows you to organise data, making it easier to read and interpret. For example, you might want to sort a list of numbers from smallest to largest. Filtering allows you to cut through the noise and isolate the information you need based on criteria you have specified. Let's take a look at both of these useful tools in action. In this video, we're going to organise data using some basic sorting and filtering options. Here we have some students and their test scores, and I want to sort this table of data. Sort options can be found on the Home ribbon, in the Editing group, and also on the Data ribbon. The Data ribbon is where you'll find the large custom sort button. So we're going to start by sorting the first name column alphabetically. Make sure you're clicked in the column to be sorted. Click on Home, Sort and Filter, and Sort A to Z. You can now see that the students have been organised alphabetically in ascending order. Maybe now I want to sort by second name in descending order. Or maybe I want to sort so the highest test score is at the top. As you can see, it's very, very simple to perform a quick sort. You can also do a custom sort and select multiple columns to sort by. For this, click anywhere in your data, go to the Data tab and click the large sort button. In the first field, select the column you want to sort by. So in this instance, that is second name. We're going to sort on the values. And we're going to sort A to Z. I'm then going to add another level or a secondary sort. And I'm then going to sort by test score. I'm going to sort on the values. And I'm going to say largest to smallest and click on OK. My students are now organised alphabetically by second name and then by their test score. We can see this illustrated better by looking at students with the same last name, in this case Knight. I can see that Ed Knight has the higher test score and is listed above Anna Knight. Data can also be sorted from left to right. For example, I want to sort these horizontal column headings alphabetically. Click Sort, click Options and select Sort Left to Right. This time select the row you want to sort by. And if I pull this down, I want to sort by the fruit, so that is row 2. I'm going to sort on the values and A to Z. And that table's now been sorted horizontally. Filters go hand in hand with sorting and can quickly help you extract the data that you're really interested in. Click in the data and from the data tab, toggle the filter on. You'll see some drop down arrows appear in your column headings. This means we can now filter the column by certain words, list items or even cell colour. I'm only interested in seeing the details of three specific students, so I select them and click on OK. Although it looks like it, nothing has been deleted, just hidden until the filter is removed. You can see this by the inconsistent row numbering that the rows are hidden. So let's clear that filter. And this time let's apply a text filter and say only show students where their name is equal to Knight. Now I have just those two students. And I'm going to clear that filter again. Just click the filter button again to toggle it off at any point. One of the reasons I also put my data in a table is that it automatically adds filters to the column headings. 